Wow, we're really streaming. We're really doing it. Let me, uh... Here's our guests. I gotta fix their cropping. Things have changed here at Polygon. Let me get everything looking real good for you. Actually, that's a good Hello, point guests. because- Hello guests. Hello. Hello. Our, our, our cropping got goofed. For the entirety of this conversation. Oh, oh, really? It got goofed? No, but you know what? It's getting fixed right now. I'm curious about it. I can't see it. I should probably boot up the stream. Let's see what's going on here and how much license I have to lean. Listen, I'm just doing some. I'm just doing some extremely good live production stuff here. Hi, everybody. Some it's Patrick live Gill surgery of Polygon.com. We've got a very special guest here. We've got Janina. It's Janina Kavankar. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And here's Hi, your host. Guys. Let, let, let me give you your host a face. There you go. Our host now has a face. I'm is... so. I cannot see what you're seeing right now, and I'm so curious and scared. <laughs> okay, we're super live, and everything looks good. <laughs> My mom has the link. She's tuning in with us. Mm -hmm. It's going great. Okay, so everyone in chat, don't say anything that you wouldn't want Janina's mom to hear or read. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> you, you don't want you don't want to get grounded by Mora. That's oh. her name. Mora. Mora. Do you know is she is she watching right now? Do you have anything to say quickly before I don't know. She can text no, we, you. We talk. We talk the whole entire day, every day. She knows everything that's going on all the time. <laughs> I can tell her later. Uh, the I will tell you this though about my mom. She's incredibly tech savvy, and she has been on Twitter since 2006, just because that's when I joined, and uh, because she was like, "Well, I don't want to miss anything." <laughs> oh my god! And at that point, because you were the first actor on Twitter. At that point, was it not your worst nightmare to have a parent following you on Twitter? Well, no, because the thing is, it's like, you know, I was already, a, um, I was already acting. So I kind of, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not one of these people that just tweets willy nilly. You knew you had to be a professional so, on Twitter already. Yeah, unlike I'm some sure. of us who are in college. Right? Yeah. So I wasn't really worried. I wasn't really worried, cool. you know. Um, hey, wow, let's talk about, let's introduce you, like, formally for okay. the listeners. As I have said, this is Janina Gavankar. She has starred in games such as Star Wars Battlefront 2 and most recently After Party. And in films, uh, you have a short horror film, Stucco. You are on The Morning Show with Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston. You've been doing so many things that it's, I'm not going to list them all. But uh, among those many projects, you have also always been someone who will like appear at E3 and announce things and you've been playing games. Uh, so we decided to hook up with you today. See what you're doing, what you're playing, what are you doing with your life right now? And while we uh, do that, Pat's going to play the Turing test. I'm going to play Yay! the Turing test. Let, you know, let's, let's throw right to it and get, get started well, on that. Well, uh, let's tell everybody why you're playing Turing test. That's a good call. Yes. Um, I, uh, one of the first things I did was like actually get Game Pass and actually start playing through every single game that is on Game Pass right now. And um, it really, you know, gave me the opportunity to start catching up on games that I either hadn't finished or hadn't been able to carve time for, for various, like, you know, you, you life on location is a, is a tough thing sometimes. You just, like, can't. I, I bring a laptop with me wherever I go, so... Um, and I just got my gaming laptop back. This is really funny. So I, I did this movie with Ben Affleck. It's out right now. It's called The Way Back. Please, please watch it. It's I'm we're really proud of what we did. But I, I like bonded with him over video games. So I because he's an old school gamer. He used to play Settlers of Catan. You guys. I was like, I mean, oh, that you're was a my dork. whole college. So <laughs> I know, but like I didn't even like like Oh, you're a tabletop gamer? Oh, you had LAN parties because you were the only dude in your group of friends who had money, so you were the one that ran the LAN party. Oh, shit, you're a gamer, Like, funded dude. LAN parties for his friends? Yes. So, <laughs> and this is the thing. I'm like, I'm like, man, you gotta tell people this shit, but it's fine. I'll tell everybody for him. So, so uh, the laptop was your, really like, portable? You know, he's busy. So I lent him my laptop to kind of, like, get him back in, yeah. you know? uh yeah and, so, and he, he bogarted um, it he just ran off with your laptop well, he just like had it for a while okay. and then but i was also in la for a while so i was like i don't really need it and then i was going on a trip and i was like 
Uh, give, give me my laptop back. <laughs> <laughs> give, give, me, give me my laptop back. We're going into lockdown, uh, Ben. Laptop now. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, what was he I doing mean, on it? Yeah. Like, what he was, was he playing? playing? I put... Well, you know what? I, um, I made, like, a folder for him. I made two folders because I didn't know how hard he was going to go. He didn't go that hard. <laughs> um, but, like, he played... So I had... The first folder was, like, What Remains of Edith Finch is the first thing I made him play um and he was like that. having trouble with the frogs in the bathtub and i was like i was like you know <laughs> yeah. um and then i think i put like i found a way to put portal on it i don't i gotta find the list but my creative partner russo shelling and i um we became really close because of games as well uh we like curated the perfect little first level folder so it was like level one and then level two was like harder games i just knew that he needed to like enter through easier games wait so, so this was like you're introducing ben affleck to modern games yeah kind of yeah effort. that's what i was trying to do i gotta that's ask really him how cool. far he actually went um yes so the point is we live on the road you know if you really want to do this you have to be willing to live out of a suitcase and be lonely and just, you know, do that's part that's part of the thing. And um so, you know, like having a laptop is really important. So, now that I've been here, I've been able to play like things that I haven't had on my laptop and this has been a lot of fun. So, Turing Test was one of them. And that is why we're playing. That was like 15 tangents to let you guys know <laughs> no, why. No, it's we're okay. The There's like so many. Great. But the Turing Test Great. is one of those games that I have not played. And Pat, you can start whenever. Yeah, I want I you to have something to do. To here. I, I'm, I'm just okay, adjusting cool. our crops once again because some slight movements have occurred. But we are golden Fancy. oldies right now. Cool. But uh, the, the Turing Test is one of those games that I should have played. By like by all means, because it's got the f puzzles that I like. It's tricky, mind tricky. I've heard so many good things about it, and yet here I am, not having played the fucking Turing test in 2020. Uh, was that why yeah. you kind of came to it? Yes, that's what. That's how I've been on for so many games. Like I should have. Yeah. It's, it's an embarrassment that I hadn't played it. It was an embarrassment that I hadn't played Senua's Sacrifice. Dude, I mean that is. The game was made for me. It, every part of it is, it's a, it, I, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that I, that it took me this long to play it. Um, but here we I want to ask you about this because there are definitely, uh, that is among the games that is on my list of, oh, uh, you, you haven't done it yet and you should feel bad about it. Are there games that are on that list that you would lie about <laughs> because you feel so guilty and embarrassed for not having played them. Oh yeah, oh yes, that is that is a great example of something that you just say. I mean, I had played part of it, but I hadn't finished it. Um, you know, that's the other thing is that I was doing top ten lists for the the Giant Bomb team. Um, so, you know, finding the time to be able to do that, it's like you play you you play as much as a little bit of as much as you can, and you kind of can tell what. You you can, you know, if you're actually savvy and, and if you have been lucky enough to work in this business, you can you can tell a lot in a very short amount of time. Mm -hmm. But um, I just hadn't finished it. And it's just an embarrassment, especially since, you know, I really want to. I, I talk a lot of shit. I walk around and I'm like, independent games, never name. So this is the time that I have no excuse. And I've been really playing through games right now. I'm 100 percenting prey. I just found everybody. Um, so, yes. So uh, for explain for, for the people who don't know about the body system, what, what's going yeah, on I'm there? Yeah, I'm curious about that. So you, first of all, it's such a good game. Everybody, please play Prey. <laughs> so uh, yeah, for any other completionist out there, like it is, it will scratch every itch in your brain. Um, you're on a space station and shit has gone wrong there are many dead people on this space station and you find them along the way and then at some point you realize there are these security stations 
um, security computers and it has a list of every single person who works on the station and where they where their bracelet is saying they are and then as you go to those different sections you try to find those people and you can like track them and find them and it is I think there's like 365 people or something so I have found 350 350 of them so I've already gotten the um the achievement yeah but that reminds like... me a lot of return of the obra din as you're describing yeah. oh it. my god i oh i'm obsessed obra din is crazy have you finished how far uh, how i far by you? the way i think i just broke this puzzle what? i'm sorry no, wait hold on oh no what have you done <laughs> no it's okay you help? no i just did it completely uh, in the dumbest way possible the biggest galaxy brain move uh, <laughs> that we could potentially even hope to achieve that's in this okay game. There, I wasn't even watching because you know, I was thinking like, about how Return of the Obra Dinn is the perfect game. The most it's perfect, a perfect game, game. Made. I uh, thought I was going to be so good at it. I was kind of not. I cheated a lot. Um, I definitely like went into Reddit to try to, I don't know, I cheated. I cheated. I had you to cheat. Cheated. How, you, so you looked up stuff online? Yeah. I it's okay. I'm not going to confront that. you over this. I don't, I'm not, I don't like, I don't like this behavior in, in my own self that I've exhibited, but this is a time of self-reflection. It's time to look deep in yourself and think about the traits that you would like and to work things on. things you've done wrong. Um, <laughs> Lucas Pope, Lucas Pope is a genius man. Um, I don't understand. That's his name, right? Lucas Pope? Yes. Yeah. I hope I, it is. I, don't un I, I think it is. Um, chat, go ahead and tell us. Uh, I, I can't believe that he's a a one-man band like what how that game infuriates how? me because it was so perfect and the i perfect want game. 10 more of it but i know that nothing is ever probably going to equal that high for me again so he just he needs to make a totally different kind of game and then i'll, I'll equally but he it. he does he continues to just make totally different his brain this Dude's his brain! His mind! The Does he ISA not want to start a studio? <laughs> What's the story? What's his story? Does anybody well, I mean, know the story of Lucas Pope? <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Lucas! <laughs> I would Google except that you guys are on my phone right now, so. Yes, and we you might have to stay go there. there for my yeah. um, I mean, I if also you also have experience, I guess, working as in the indie I want to say system, even though it's not a system. In the indie world versus in it is kind the of its own world. system, yeah, yeah. So when you were making Stucco, did you ever your short horror film? Did you ever think, oh, why don't I make a studio? Or were you like, I'm going wild. I'm I'm indie, baby. I can do. First what I of want. all, that is such a great point. Um, but the thing is, it like uh, so you know we made Stucco because making things for a long time. And uh, there's just only so much you can stamp around and be like, I make things. I know how to make polished things. You got to trust me before people will actually trust you. So we knew that, you know, I have an legislative projects with, with Russo. And um, Why is that? we knew that in order to make a, an, and get something actually green, that we needed to prove that we had what it took um, and earn the right to get something greenlit. So, so um that's one of the reasons we made Stucco. Um, what, the reason we made Stucco specifically as opposed to one of the other things we could have made is because it was highly autobiographical for us <laughs> in different ways and um, dealt with mental health. And um, really, like, it was the one that we had to get out of our bodies. So, uh, yeah, that's a great point. Oh, yeah, why don't I start a studio? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I do think about that all the time. I would love to start a studio. If anybody wants to give me all of the capital to start a studio. Pitch. Coming! But, um, but and you can watch like... Stucco on YouTube right now on Alter's YouTube channel. Yes. Just putting that yes, out there please. for folks. Um, but the other thing is um, with somebody like Mr. Pope, he has all the stripes. Yeah. You know, like... People know me as an actor. I needed to make something to prove that I could be a filmmaker or that I should, you know, maybe create more opportunities for myself. But um, he's got all the stripes. And, like, I don't know. I, I don't feel know. like sometimes, though, know. when you're... I got to go find this dude and ask him questions. I'm making <laughs> a lot of assumptions about a dude I do not. We're going to let you talk to him next time. Uh, oh, but sure. I feel sure, like sure. even when you are working with someone that you work really well with, you still do end up making 
compromises. And yes, you have those compromises to, sure. make the story better. But I mean, when you're working alone, you just have kind of that complete free reign. Maybe that's yeah, kind of the I appeal. Yeah, I prefer to have, I prefer to have, I mean, collaboration is the thing that excites me the most about mm -hmm. the world in general. It's, it's, I'm really not very much to yeah. try to win a battle just for myself or anything like that. But um, I honestly, I feel the same way because then when you're working on something and you're not, you, you can like give it to the other person and say, hey, look at this. How are we doing? And they have to tell you, <laughs> they have to give you feedback. And then that yeah, feeds on itself. Yeah, because both of your names love. go on it. So yeah. you can't, you know. Um, and then also you kind of, we, uh, we have this term like, I will die on this hill. <laughs> Is yeah. a thing that we say when we're like, no, this has this has to stay. Yeah. Yesterday, we're we're writing this insane movie right now, uh, and uh, <laughs> is it a feature or a short? It's a feature um, for this uh, very cool company that the announcement will come out soon, I'm sure. But um, I was like, I don't like that. You know, here are reasons why. I don't think that's a good idea. And Russo was like, I will die on this hill. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit we don't say it often but it's like if one of us pulls that card it's like then you know it's it. serious it's oh, real oh you really mean it all right fine. I'll give you this hill because <laughs> i know that i will have a hill at some point you yeah know, so give and take yeah yeah give and take I, but those kinds of things are always like the best to ensure that the the best idea in the room always wins you know I, I yeah just... yeah yeah and i i always just kind of think my ideas are dumb compared to somebody else and so no. I'm be like no how that's you, a good how, idea how do you get over that's that that's a good idea how do I get over that? my general imposter syndrome yeah um age okay. <laughs> I'm hoping like at some point I definitely has, has dissipated as the years have gone by because I I have like these events or these things that I can point to for my own self and go oh I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, but yeah, once I did it, a good thing. Huh. Yeah. Oh, that one time I did a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's hard. It's it's hard and it's it's never ending. I, God, I just had this like, just shoot, the brain is a wild, a wild, wild place. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, I mean, I right just had now. This, like, oh, go on. Go ahead. No, no, please. Oh, I was going to say. Uh, you're working on a bunch of stuff right now, and I know for a lot of creative people, focusing is just, like, freaking impossible right now because there's so yeah. much noise. Um, and at the same time, the urge to create stuff is kind of it, it's super compelling because what else are we going to do? Um, how do you, I guess, deal with that, with the noise of the world screaming at you? Um, it's like a... It's a strange balance of you know like hiding <laughs> in my house and like never leaving or um and also i don't know i think you just have to kind of be kind to yourself um and then there's like these weird little brain brain hacky biohacky things that i try to do you know i just had this incredible conversation with this um friend of mine who's like He's just, an, he's one of the greats. And um, he was talking about how he, his, his therapist just told him to put his phone on black and white. Oh, yeah. And I was like, gonna what? That. What does that mean? What? How does he, how do you do My that? My phone, I didn't even tell him, I was like, I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> you can just put it in, you can go in accessibility and then change your phone to monochrome. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just because, you know, as we know, the colors in our phone, uh, not necessarily photos, but the apps are scientifically made to create dopamine hits and the colors that are uh, like Candy Crush is made. The colors are saturated in a way that it makes you make it keeps you on the thing, keeps you in. Everything's A-B tested to see what's going to react the best. It's all scientifically made for your brain to enjoy. It's a system, man. Which is, by the way, if I was making an app, exactly what I would do <laughs> to create to get in your brains. Are you kidding? Of course. But um, but we have to live. We have to sleep. And yet we, we also have to, have to read books sleep. on our phones at night. Yes. And 
you know, it's just like, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just a, a constant, mm-hmm. a constant struggle. And, um, you know, when you have, when you have ADD, um, mm-hmm. you have to learn how your brain learns and, and it's just a moving target. Completely, so. I want to um, go sorry back to, to oh. distract for a moment, but I just realized that when we are editing this VOD, we're going to have to like record a version of me that looks calm and composed and not just making this look of abject confusion as I just fucking try to figure out what, what uh, this game yeah, is for okay. smart people, Janina. This, this game is for <laughs> smart people. That's not, but you're also multitasking, so. That's true. Okay, yeah, you're trying to listen to people talk. I mean, you're basically listening to a podcast, Pat. What's That's wrong true. with you? That's true. I should be able to handle this. So, wait. No, we have to be gentle with Pat. I actually can't really tell on my phone. What's okay. the chat say? Chat. chat Who can read the chat? <laughs> Our boss is reading the chat. And your mom. Yes. <laughs> Give me her number. Chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, nobody in chat is giving specific advice, but everybody is uh, relating with cool, those cool. ADD feels. Well, yeah, that's good. it's it's like uh, the older you get, the more you you know. Um, a friend, uh, another friend of mine, just told me that he was diagnosed with non learning disorder, and I was like, "You call it a disorder." Or you could just admit to the fact that you have verbal superpowers. Because he he can, the way that he listens and ingests words or reads words is yeah. on some other level. That did dude is s- on some other shit. Did you see so, that tweet that was like about whether people see pictures or not? Or like the detail in which people visualize stuff? Mm, no. It was just this... Um, when, it asked people to picture an apple in their head and then it had a variety of like kinds of apples ranging from like a very detailed apple to just kind of like a gray blob. Um, anyway, a lot of people learn that day that they don't visual, they can't visualize pictures in their heads, which I find so fascinating. Cause I, I yeah. I'm a very visual person. I don't know if you are as well. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, but the, but when it comes to communication, 70% of it is nonverbal. So this yeah. is now a person who has realized he goes, and it makes sense because I'm the person that's like would drive away and be like, "Oh, that's what he meant," <laughs> you know? Because he it just is like, "Not know shit like that he, about yourself." He doesn't. He doesn't pick up what people are putting down. Yeah, you know. Um, sometimes it'd be like that. Sometimes it'd be like that. But he's like a genius in this other area, and the way he uses words and the way he can craft words as a writer yeah. is like otherworldly. So it's like, I don't know, calling yeah. it a disorder. It's just that, here's the thing. If we have a deficiency in some area, we mostly make it up in other areas. Yeah, so, it's just a you know, way that your brain with, is formed. You just have to accept what your how your body works and how your mm-hmm. brain works. And then um, just part of the struggle is like trusting that it's okay. Yeah. You know? Um, and uh, you're, when you were playing Oberdin, that yeah. your brain was confused. But what is the kind of game, I think, what is your platonic ideal of a game where you're like, yes, I am in my element and I, I am a god in this world? Portal. Portal? Mm. So it's a lot of spatial shit. No wonder you like the Turing test. It's all spatial shit. I mean, tur- the Turing test is like a, it's a spiritual successor to yeah. Portal. Mm-hmm. The thing that makes Portal extra special is the writing. The com- the level oh, of comedy so good. in Portal is unmatched. The writing is insane. So the it's just I mean it's I can't even really name another game that has the comedy chops that Portal has. Oh, you, you know what's that? <laughs> what was that? Sorry. You broke up for a uh, second the there. The people at night school. Oh, right. Um, yes. Oh, ha-ha. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, comedy, yeah. it, it is, frankly, pretty rare in games to, to find it, to find a game that has, like, a very strong comedic element that's, like, fully part of the game. And obviously After Party is a game that's very, like, quippy and funny, and then Portal is just full of humor, even though it has nothing to do with the... Actually, no, there is a lot of comedic gameplay in that, isn't there? Because there's kind of, like, the slapstick elements that you can do with the robots and the turrets and stuff yeah yeah but that's writing yeah yeah so so god you know i haven't really like looked into the the because it's before 
you know, Portal was like my gateway drug. So it was Portal and Bioshock. Mm. So Dude. I don't actually know. It's like before my time when I was like really embedded in the game industry and like wanted to know everything. Uh, so I have to really look at like how big was the team at you know that made Portal. I know that it was like the offshoot of Half Life, and you know it was like, it, oh, I'm getting a phone call. Bye. Oh no! <laughs> uh, oh, you are mostly oh. back, but still a little choppy. So, oh okay. Also, All right, now you're it? good again. What time is it, Patrick? Can you check the time? Yes, it's so three twenty-five. Oh great! Okay. Yes. Um, sorry that I can't hang very long with everybody today, but um, that's okay. That's cool. We're gonna stretch okay. for a little while and play a little more of this game because I am oh good enjoying. Oh good. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, when yeah, th so you know, but but like, but that's writing, right? So like, yeah. sure. Or one of the game mechanics is that you can pick up a turret and you can throw it and or do things with it because it weighs something. So it can help you solve a puzzle, or you need it to point in a direction so the laser works. But then a writer comes in and sees that and sees 15 million versions of what that can equal to in terms of a world. And, you know, it's just all yeah. writing yeah. so many times that, you know, I know I know so many writers in the games industry now, but I cannot fathom how they do what they do because they come in and see set pieces and then write around those I things. Know. Yeah, it's and absolutely not. In terms of what we do in the film and television world, we're making those sets based on what has been written. Mm -hmm. So it's wild. It's wild. I can't. I have so much. I mean, anybody who's in this, who's watching this right now knows this. I have so much respect, and I'm obsessed with the the minds in the games industry because they're just yeah. the most brilliant, the most brilliant creative minds in the world. They're they really are. Can um, I ask why yeah, so why Bioshock Portal. and Portal were your gateways into gaming? Like what was it, going on came, at that time? They for came you? out that year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that was the year where you're like, "This is this it, is baby." What was going on? It was 2007. Not much <laughs> was going on for me. <laughs> I was. Um, I had done my first. I did this season of television, so I had done the L word. And then I was just like every Legendary. other actor. I was like waiting, waiting for the next gig, um, and. Uh, I had really found my people, uh, mm -hmm. like like geeks. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, so I was surrounded by geeks uh, in the tech world at the time, and it's funny. It's like most people think, oh, she pro she probably moved to Los Angeles and just like met a bunch of actors. Actually, no. <laughs> the first people that were my truest and dearest friends and still are are all in the tech industry, <laughs> and. Um, I just like took the controller from my then boyfriend and started playing the game while he actually had to run a company and I didn't have a job and then just started playing <laughs> everything and then all my friends were like you're an, you're a gamer dude and then handed me the orange box and that's when I played Portal for the first time and then yeah. um like in the same year so many games came out uh the the first Assassin's Creed came out around then. Um, I mean, it was really just like boom, 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 boom. But the thing was that Bioshock also has such a strong narrative. It's so and, fucking good. I, I mean, still would love you it. kindly? Are you mm -hmm. kidding me? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's just, there's so many strong, there was such strong storytelling. And the I was so naive because I was like, oh, this is what video games are? It's been like this forever? <laughs> but actually, it was like the year of the dawn of the AAA game. And well, I feel like and, a lot of people had that thought that year. I mean, that that was Bioshock, right? It's like, oh my god, games have a message. And that was when that, <laughs> that started to like break out of, you know, just core gamer circles. And it, like it became a more mainstream, like, oh my god, this game has a fucking message. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, oh. And I was like, I don't know how old I was at the time, but that's what it was for me. And now I'm kind of like, okay, it's a... <laughs> but for me, it still holds up because it has that emotional connection. It does hold up because the stories are dope. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I mean, and the music the is dope way... and the world building is dope. The characters are yeah. dope. Yeah. Have you seen and the what's... trailer for the new Assassin's Creed? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I haven't. <laughs> Is it amazing? I uh... um the trailer's mostly a cinematic, so it's like it hits all the correct emotional beats for me. 
Uh, what I'm most excited about is that apparently you're going to be able to, you know, have a settlement and arrange marriages with your people who live in your settlement and Norse marriages, Norse arranged yes! marriages. Yes. Interesting. Anyway, sorry, this, I this is how you create, this concept. This is how you create the best Viking babies. You take <laughs> the strongest Vikings and you put them together. I hope and Ubisoft isn't making a Viking eugenics Viking simu simulator because that would really get into some bad territory. I with feel Viking like Viking. that might be what's happening. <laughs> no! Hey, I mean, and it's 3.30, so I think me... Janita's got to go. Oh, well, you have when, to go when already? You say those things to me. Are you telling me you're not going to breed the best human, which is terrifying? <laughs> Janina, I can't admit that to you. Cool. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord well uh this will be the last polygon when you, stream when you ever have an indian girl yeah when you have an indian girl in the conversation you're like you're talking about arranged marriages and i'm also a brown person so the first thing Fair i'm enough. thinking about is like terribly wrong <laughs> <laughs> but let's see let's see <laughs> i eagerly await your review of it if you play it <laughs> who knows um, Sail a boat I, up a river I feel like I didn't get to. I feel like I didn't get to get into the chat at all. But I do want to tell everybody that, that is watching. Um, I do have a Twitch channel. I am probably going to stream with Russo a lot more soon. We're gonna see. Um, but it's basically just Twitch.tv slash Janina. Big deal. Ta -da. Yes, it's uh, it's. How do you always low. get that friggin' username? You are. Hmm, you're on it. Well, really, doctor. I just did it. <laughs> That's awesome. uh, yes. Do you have anything go. else you want to you know, promote before you have to run away? Um, please see the way back. That's it. You know, it's like a, it's maybe the you know. I'm just so I love that. I love the work that we did. Really proud of the movie. Please watch it, and you can rent it everywhere because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it didn't really get to do a theater run, but um. But that's it. Come find me on Twitch and uh, and all and all the social meds, and that's it. That's it. I don't know. I'm happy to hang with you. I really got to say, I am so impressed with the Polygon community. It's a kind place. It, it tells really you that we needed a place to be kind and wholesome and speak to each other. Um, I've every time I do like a mainstream interview understand the games industry they're always like isn't it a really toxic place and it's like yeah like most things there there are places that don't feel nice and there are places that feel really nice and polygons one nice and that's why i very very willingly showed up today because i really like the hey, thank you really i do. too i brag about our youtube comments and our twitch community because they're so freaking nice what's wrong with you guys <laughs> Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You just like find your people, you know? Yeah. Find your ah. people, guard them fiercely. Protect Done. and also attack. Done. Uh, yeah. Janina, this was super take cool. Your vitamin D. Uh, Janina's Twitch and Twitter are both linked below this video. Simone and I are going to keep playing Turing Test for a little while. Uh, yeah. And it's the same on Instagram. It's just my name. Just like I'm the same. Uh, not deep. It's just Janina <laughs> on the whole dang internet. Uh, so Janina, thank being. you so much. If 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 you gotta run now, uh, you can hop off yeah, the call, and we're gonna keep going. Okay, uh, I'll talk to you. To thank you for coming. Really soon, guys. See thank ya. you. Thanks for. Thanks for putting on makeup for us. <laughs> <laughs> totally. All right. Talk right, later. Bye. Bye. Alrighty, let's. Yay. Okay, that I gotta just adjust my crops. How you feel? Yeah, adjust those crops. I mean, I feel like that's mostly what you've been doing. I'm just adjusting your crops. I'm just mostly living a crop oriented lifestyle right now. Hmm. That's what I'm gonna be doing when fucking Assassin's Creed Valhalla comes out if I can farm. I'm gonna be living a crop oriented lifestyle. Uh, do you, uh it, it, have they said the game is going to have farming in it? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna respond to the joke. Okay. Other people are responding though. I'm hearing applause. Um, it's coming from, it's coming from outside the screen. Uh, I don't know. I know there's gonna be hunting and fishing. I need to stop talking about this fucking game. I just know that we're gonna like the the Xbox thing tomorrow. I'm gonna see gameplay of it and I'm gonna die. Uh, wait, they're showing some.
Mm. I thought so. I don't well, know. Maybe. Do we'll I see. know that officially? We'll see. Um, Simone, should I yeah. should I move up and, and claim Janina's space, or should I remain my my lowest? Do you spot look good? Did the... you put on your makeup today? I've been on camera. Did cam you get your time. lighting? I've been set on camera the whole time, and genuinely, I am so fucking terrified to look at this VOD because I felt several times the face I was making while watching the touring test, sort of like doing the old old man like looking down his glasses look, kind of like. Like, uh, well, I, I can't see you, so I think you should take Janina's place because otherwise you're going to be describing things that your face is doing. And I'm going to be like, well, I can, can kind of imagine how that looks, but I don't really want to rely on my imagination fully. All right, hang on. Well, do you, uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to, you're not going to see the gameplay anymore once I do that, but. Uh, we oh, will. but then I won't be able to tell you what to do. In that case. Not that I'm, I know what's going on anyway. On, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll throw to my camera real quick and then okay. I'll. Then I'll I'll right. not Stop blow my nose directly into the mic. Stop sharing your screen. Okay. Folks, I don't know if you've experienced this. Sometimes you put on makeup, and every hole in your face just starts to run. That ever happened to you? It's happening to me right now. Uh, hang on. Including my mouth, am I right? <laughs> hang on. Um, okay. Uh, you hang know, on. I don't have to fuck with my settings. Just, just, try, just picture a, a really dumb face. Okay, and that, that's I can the face do that. that I, I, I was making for the majority of that stream. That's um, good. Was it just you that could see it, or could the viewers also see The whole see internet it? could see it, and it's going to, nice. like I said, I'm just going to have to record, like, a, a 15 okay. second loop of me um, just looking, like, really sort of comic, like, sort of maybe this angle. Yeah, you pensive, like, stroking the mustache. Mm -hmm. I well, do I know you have a mustache, because I saw you yesterday. Yes. I mean, I could it's have shaved very, it between now I'm and impressed with it, honestly. It's, it, I put a little bit of work into it. Um, all right, well, I'm, 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 we're gaming again. Yeah, we're gaming again because that's what we're doing here. Um, so you're in chapter two of this whole beans right now. Yeah. And what I've seen is that there are a lot of blocks that you're picking up. Now you've got hands. I have, I, I mean, um, I, and you were completing yeah. electrical circuits, something I that a, I know. A bonsai tree. Oh, we can fully rotate 3D objects. Man, okay, things that I would follow up on with Janina if I had more time. Yes. I want to spend a whole hour talking about what remains of Edith Finch. Um, I want to talk more about uh, working on After Party and Star Wars Battlefront 2. So many things to say. I want to talk more about Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice, a game that I should have played. Again, very ashamed of it. Um, da -da -da -da. More about Backlog. Um, what will I have written down? Um... Too bad I derailed to talk about Assassin's Creed for no reason! <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, and playing, oh my god, playing tabletop games? Because I know she plays tabletop games, or at least has played, like, D&D &D with uh, Deborah Ann Wall for her D&D uh, &D series, Relics and Rarities, uh, uh, which I enjoy. I want to play D&D. &D. Yeah, playing a tabletop game. It would be fun. It's the perfect time. I got my, I got all my, uh, I got my... What do you got? I can't see it. All I see is you not playing this fucking game. I, I got my boyfriend manual here. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 that's not my joke. It's not my joke. Calling D&D &D monster manuals boyfriend manuals, but it is oh, a funny okay. joke. See, I can't see what you're holding. So for me, it's, again, whiff. whiff. I'm not acknowledging your jokes now. Whiff of the screen. How does it feel, Patrick? Pretty good. Um, Patrick okay. Gill, more like Patrick there. with. Hmm. with. It's, uh... So it doesn't work. Um, okay. I. No, okay, I gotta run a package across there. I think I'm gonna figure this out. I um, agree that you have to run a package across there. And that's why you should support the United States Postal Service. Agreed, um, buy stamps. I, re mm -hmm. I recently played uh, Midnight Clock tower clock tower midnight midnight on the clock tower okay, it's yes. a werewolf variant you know the one it's yes. called it's called that um over zoom with a few friends uh in it fucking ruled it's like a way more complex version of werewolf where the villains are kind of divided like you usually have like the werewolves and then the henchmen but this has like a bunch of different kinds of monsters and then a bunch of different kinds of minions as well as a bunch of different kinds of villagers and Blood on the Clock Tower? Blood on the Clock Tower at Midnight? I don't know what it's called. It was incredibly fun. I was a hench for the first time. Um, 
and one of the players did that classic fucking thing in the first round where you all like, oh, hey, why don't we all go around and say what we're doing, say who we are, what our role is. So on my first time, I had to come up with a fast lie and immediately made a, an enemy for life when I said I was the monk and someone else was like, oh, are but, you? But I'm the monk. That's interesting. And that's when you know you, you really fucked up and <sighs> you choose. The role that someone already has. So I, I don't. So I don't and we did lose. I'm, I'm sorry, I was killed. Oh, yeah, I what are you? Okay, this thing just produces more of these. Okay. Oh, six. Right. You can have infinite blocks. No, no, I can't have infinite, but I can have enough. Enough. So, can you walk on it when it's white, or can you only walk on it when it's only blue? Only when it's blue, and I can scoot when the circuit across is complete. it. And so if I go like this, if I drop this little dude here. And I shoot yeah. this little dude and I say, I need you over here. Thank you. No, hang on. Get in there. So oh. I can get that open by dropping this. Get on what it, open? But then I can't get, I can get this door open. This door is open oh. because that is powered. Gotcha. Um, but I thought you just depowered that and opens. the door was still open. Th this is the one that powers that door. Mm. So I need to have a weight on there. And I also need to have power in there wait can't you just drop that block down on top of the red square um perhaps i can you need it for anything else doesn't look like you're doing anything with it okay it closes oh, okay fuck! so that's what happens it closes the other one gotcha 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 so ah. you need to be in there hang on big brain big brain big brain big brain coming through Wait here for me. Oh. oh shit! The big brain has logged on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how we do it there here in the Turing test. That's that's why I'm smarter than a computer. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why true. I can't be He's fucking replaced now. by a machine. <laughs> Patrick, for the last time, no one is trying to replace you with a machine. Will you please let this go? <laughs> Oh, no God. one else could write those big brain scripts you do. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm going to pour the water from my mason jar into my mug. Mm. My mug is on its third liquid of the day. Wait, can, can, can you, can you get coffee. a quick liquid review? Yeah. Um, my coffee today was fine. I did the thing where I left the machine on too long and it got kind of burny, which I hate, but I will drink it anyway because I cannot waste a liquid. The second drink of the day, not to spoil anything, but I think it's winning. It's the green juice um, that I purchased because I'm consuming no fruits. And one day I bought a big jug of like thick juice and I drank the entire thing in one sitting and I was like, oh no, this is what I need nutrition. Ah, so I started buying the green juice and I've been drinking a cup of green juice what's, what's every day. What's the green juice? What, what's... What is the green Fuck juice? I know. I think it's got apples in it. Uh, it's thick. It's green. It could be described as viscous. A viscous um, juice. A viscous juice. A viscous green juice. Uh, it has all the green fruits that you could think of, and some that you can't. Um, <laughs> and then this third drink of the water. <laughs> Thank you. I just read. I just reread the Thirteen Clocks by James Thurber, so I'm. I feel very. I'm Snappy. in that space. Yeah. He's yeah. Zippy. Cool. That's good. Because he, he writes about a lot of things that you, he'll, he'll say things that you can't imagine. There's a character called the Gallics, and when he first appears, he is like a short man with a dark, describable beard and an, an undescribable hat. And it's just called an undescribable hat, and later he's invisible, and somebody's like feeling him, and he's like, yeah, I felt this guy. He felt short. He had a beard and something on his head that was undescribable. And it's <laughs> such a good fucking gag. Uh, uh, every time I read it, it makes me laugh. Anyway, now I'm drinking water. What are you drinking, Patrick? Uh, I have a bottle of water here. I had a co- oops! I had a coffee earlier. I had a water. I might have a- I was- I was like gambling on a Red Bull. I was like, should I do a Red Bull? I got- I got this big stream. I gotta make sure my brain's running at 100%. But I decided not to because I thought it would just make me jittery. Yeah, so you would have been on your third liquid of the day. That would have been on liquid numero trace. Um, oh, man. Okay, so if Do I... you think he will commit to a third liquid today, or just stick with the two? 
I'm going to commit to several more liquids today. <laughs> really? Yeah. What kinds of liquids? Let's let, let's get into it. I'm thinking Let's see. Uh I'm thinking One second. I I can't even imagine that many kinds of I don't have the many kinds of liquids I've in done, my home. I've done coffee, I've done water. I want to do What do I have? I might do a tea. I got some Tetley. Three. I got some nice Tetley tea. And then okay. right around a uh, beer 30 might might have a beer. Okay, that's four. Yeah, it's four liquids. That's, that's four a four liquids. liquid day. I guess that's several liquids. I don't know. When you said several, I was just picturing a, a like vast amount of liquids. Um, An ocean of liquids. Startling varietals of liquids. Mm. And it's just jars upon jars. <laughs> <laughs> mason jars upon mason jars of liquids. Uh, but really, you're just drinking a completely normal and acceptable amount of liquids, even more so because you chose not to have the Red Bull. Yes. Um, when did you get into Red Bull? Oh, uh, when I was 14, because, okay. Uh, was that your energy drink of choice when you were a teen? Pat lore. So um, mm. in England and in generally, general in, generally in European countries, um, there was a very popular drink called Red Bull Vodka. Uh, and I was visiting family in Wales and um, my grandfather enjoyed a Red Bull Vodka. Uh, oh, God. I did not enjoy the vodka, but he did have a two liter of Red Bull in his fridge or several two liters of Red Bull, fake Red Bull in his fridge. Uh, and I would just drink from this two liter of Red Bull and watch uh, Mila Jovovich in the Resident Evil film and just mm -hmm. expand my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Meditation hour. <laughs> We're going to drink a Red Bull and expand our minds. And then I, I think just like, in college, oh, I kept doing it. Yeah. I feel like every teenager, at least since the dawn of energy drinks, has had a chosen energy drink mm -hmm. of their teen years. Mine was Rockstar, was mm. very into Rockstar. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's not like I, I, I think because they, after the roadie run, you know, during roadie fest every year in Port Townsend, I, I, I went out of focus again. It's because I'm traveling down memory lane right now. <laughs> um, you know, they'd have like the coolers of water and coolers of energy drinks and they, it was always Rockstar and that would be my chance because I just run 7K to drink a rock star maybe even take a couple rock stars because you know you're tired and you're a teen um i don't know and it had that cachet of i'm cool because i'm drinking this energy drink because it's called rock star a loser would it's never drink star. this stuff nah not me i'm not a loser no way no sir <laughs> i remember my very first monster it was like before oh. it was before it was a thing uh mm. and i remember having a sip of it and thinking this is going to be big <laughs> oh, there was a whole by the time i got to high school then there was a whole faction of teens whose chosen energy drink was balls uh balls, i think it was Guarana, yeah you remember balls yep it, that was the and of course one. that, that had an added comedy element one. was it yep. oh yeah, i the, didn't know the first ad i ever saw for balls was in uh was it was in game pro magazine mm-hmm I don't know if they knew that they would really corner the teen market by being able to make teens say they're drinking balls, but <laughs> <laughs> it sure worked a trick in my school. Oh, I did God. not partake of balls when I was in high school. I'm, I'm glad we still have that sponsored by Alienware window up in the corner. <laughs> Maybe I should take that down. No, you leave it up. Don't be a coward. <laughs> I should. I, I'm, I am going to remove Janina's name from this stream, so she's not associated That's with fair. everything we're saying here. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, unrelated Pat and Simone content. This is Pat and Simone Unchained. This is Pat and Simone after we've like prepared and stressed about like having good tech and conversation for an interview with a person we respect, and now that's done. We're <laughs> unchained. <laughs> the weight is lifted off our shoulders <laughs> i'm gonna go wild welcome to the dew bunker all right cool oh i realize you can't see tub should i put him in the frame 
Cub? Who's Cub? It's Cub. Oh, Cub is your, your teddy bear? Just streaming some Turing test. <laughs> Whoops. What? What have you done? I, I did a bad job with the new stream title. Oh no, what did it, what did it, what? Uh, <laughs> what is it? I just, I, I accidentally Patrick. wrote just streamings, some Turing test with an apostrophe after the S for some reason, or before the S. Ew. Just streaming. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't think, based on the content so far. I'm sorry, I'm trying to shift in my loud and uncomfortable. There, now you can just see Cub over my shoulder. There's Cub. Um, yeah, that's nice. Um, all right. Wow, Turing test. Did you solve this freaking puzzle yet? Are we still no, here? I'm still working on the same puzzle. Um, I'm thinking about. I noticed you have energy. two bridges. I got two bridges and, and. Why are you thinking about monster when you've got a fridge full of rock star, Patrick? You made your jet. choice, and so did Box Media. Mm, oh, hang on. How I'm much thinking. do you miss the rock star fridge? I miss it. Oh, with the rock star fridge, <laughs> the Box Media oh, rock star fridge. Red Bull, Red Bull fridge. I'm sorry, I'm slandered. You've betrayed. Slandered our fair company. All right, hang on. So I think um, I need to get some. Speaking of balls, I need to get some more of these electric balls available to me at my current location. Yes. Um, can you? You can't activate these bridges up here at all. Uh, I need to to put some. I need to yoink this. Wait, hang on. No. Okay, go over here. Then I can yoink that and get over here. Yes. Yes, and yes, then yes. I can and work your way up to the top. Yeet it into that. Mm. Um, and then. Yeet that? Is there another one somewhere that I can yoink? Well, how do you still have two. If I oh. yoink that, I can put it somewhere out here where I'll have it available to me. So, like, if I put it. I'm going to just put it up there for now. Because then I can come okay. down here. And I can yoink this. And you fall. Then I can put this here, and then I can yoink that, eat that, yoink that, eat that, yoink this. Temporarily eat that, so I can yoink that. <laughs> Life is but a, a series of Eatings and yoinkings. <laughs> Eats and yoinks. Um, powered by Alienware. <laughs> this really is. I, I mean, this is one of those games that I feel like were I in the sanctity of solitude, would I be able to finish it? Eventually. Can I comprehend it when I'm watching it it, that's the thing with puzzle like, games is like coming in halfway <laughs> unless your hands no. are on it it's just like you, 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 you're sometimes it's it is valuable to be like that second pair of eyes on a thing mm -hmm. but like a lot of times it uh, yeah you really have to like have the the spatial awareness that is granted to you only when you are holding the controller right oh boy Oh, hey, oh, oh! You can just walk right through that, huh? Just walk right through. It's, that's like a binary switch, and I haven't really figured out exactly uh, what the purpose of those is. Well, we're about to. Okay, so I made a romp. Okay, so now I can. That is creativity, thinking outside. Did you play Oberdin? Uh, I did not play Oberdin. I need to play Oberdin. I feel like see that's where my brain comes alive. Like that is my my palace <laughs> i go into the mind palace um i've never felt like more on top of my shit and my own Switch brain now, right? than when i was playing that um yes it is okay. and i'm considering purchasing it a second time I... um although i would like to be hit really hard on the head so that i can forget the game and play it again so if That's, anyone is yeah. willing okay so now as janina said everyone in our community is super nice so they're not gonna hit me on the head Nobody and take away my memories sometimes so if i stand here right i'm gonna block that oh okay, then so. the door open so you need something to be there so that you oh. can go through door wait no if i just close the door that'll do it ready if i just oh. 
in your first step. Oh, right? yeet, you won't. Yeah, and now yeah. you can just go up the ramp. Cool. Yay. It's more. It's more. It. I already had my vitamin D for the. Are you taking any vitamins right now? Oh, I'm not. They can. Mm -hmm. My mom, wonderful person, has been sending me just like boxes and boxes of pills. <laughs> Like, she sent me this huge container of aspirin. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, I have ibuprofen. I probably don't need aspirin, and I'm afraid of taking aspirin because I've heard it's surprisingly easy to overdose on. Um, but she's like, no, you need aspirin in case you get a fever. And she sent me a massive bottle of aspirin. And then she was like, well, you're also not getting any sunshine. And she sent me this big bottle of vitamin D. Um, so I'm really, I'm living right now. <laughs> Good, I should take some okay, some vitamins. So why aren't you permitted to emulate that process? All right. Because so I got this thing here. I got a yeah, you got a slidey yeah. magnet. Pick things up with it. Ostensibly, I should be able to pick things up with this. Is Tara says we can start wrapping the stream up. But what if we did it? Is she doing the, the digital version of this? Like <laughs> <laughs> Brian just. Sorry, Brian. I know you did this to be like. Not secretive, but subtle. So Brian just texted me saying, don't know if you saw the Slack ping, but Sarah, Tara says we can start wrapping the stream up. No, we won't. <laughs> I want to see Pat solve one more puzzle, okay. and then we will go away for the day. Okay. How long have we been live? Uh, coming up on an hour. That reminds me, just for, Sexy. for safety's sake, I'm going to hit escape, and I'm going to stop the recording. And, oh, yes, okay, so we cool. don't lose anything. Yes. Um, cool. We're gonna... um, don't and be obnoxious. I'm with no outlet for my obnoxiousness. <laughs> I I feel uh I feel overwhelmingly obnoxious and it's all just channeled toward anyone that I am video chatting with all the time. Are are you doing I a lot just, of video wanna, chatting? Not even that much. I should do more. But it's a it's a time commitment, you know. I'm just so busy all the time. <laughs> Watching three seasons of the leftovers. Okay, so you're throwing the little magnet block. I think I've got something here ready. Because I think once it hits that ray, it yeah. demagnetizes. But I can leave it up there. I can come over uh, here. Yes. And I can and flip And then you can the turn that off. You can yoink that. Nope, you can redirect it. Yeah, because now it's yes, on the okay, other side. Yes, okay, great, yes. That's great. This game is really cool. Yeah. And then I can get that all the way and over there. And it looks there. beautiful. Oh, I get it. Okay, and then I... If I remove the power, it'll drop. Excellent. And then I have a permanent battery I can jack in over here. Oops. Would you... Let's see. Hey! There we go. That's another puzzle. Now, done. did you yoink that or yeet that? That, ooh, that was a, I don't know, m much like life. It was a bit of both. Nice. All right. uh, Give well, and that, take. That, that, that's a stream for today. Yay! Um, uh, we are. I love these fucking lights, Pat. I just want to leave these in my room. Yeah, they're good. The good lights. Uh, how does everybody like the new stream overlay? Pretty yeah, good, right? I. I mean, I won't speak for the viewers, but I fucking love it. Even though I can't see it right now. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at us live. While we while we still have this. <gasps> Fuck yeah, that looks good. I hope everybody likes that because I think it's great. Thank you, everybody, who is now... Now I can see chat. They're saying it's good. They're saying it's fantastic. Yes, thanks we to James that. and Luis, or Louis, Louis, uh, on the design team for for scrapping that together for us. It looks real good. Yeah. Um, oh. And uh, it is very purple. Okay, we, uh, we'll be back with... Well, I think we're going to stream next so week, too. I. Don't know what... We're, we're th thinking maybe Sea of Thieves. Um, I want to play Sea of Thieves with you again so badly. I don't know if I'm invited on that stream, I th but... I mean, I don't think we could I do it am. without you, so... <gasps> Yay! Um, Captain Simone. So, yeah. And Captain Pat, first mate Simone. Uh, anyways, but we'll, we'll let you know if that's going to happen or not. We're going to wrap up the stream for mm -hmm. today. Thank you, everybody, 
uh, go subscribe to youtube.com slash polygon if you haven't already. Um, and follow and this channel if you haven't already because cool yes. shit's going to go down here and you want to be notified. Yeah, we've got a couple more interviews in the little interview series here that we can't, I don't, we're not going to announce yet, but we're going to do a couple more of these things. Uh, we're just going to say vague to, things. We're just going to say vague shit and then we're going to hang up. Uh, thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Uh, hang on. How do I stop streaming? <laughs> you better do it. <laughs> bye, bye, everybody. Have a good day.